In a rural area called Lavalette, several miles outside Huntington, an excavator digs up earth behind some railroad tracks and not far from the Timberwolf trailer park. For the second time this year, volunteers are trying to find Samantha Burns. The directions come from Chad Folks, the man convicted of her murder. In 2002, Folks and Brandon Basham escaped from a Kentucky prison and headed for Huntington. There, police say they kidnapped Burns, killed her, and dumped her body, which has never been found. On Monday, Samantha's mother, Candy Burns, watched the excavation from a distance. She says she's happy to have help in the search. We just want to bring Samantha home. I mean, I'll search. We've had people come from several different states to come and help us. But yeah, we'll be out here anytime there's a search going on. We'll never give up. The search is being led by a woman named Monica Kaysen in her group, Community United Effort, which searches for missing bodies. It was Kaysen's group that found another alleged victim of Basham and Folks, 44-year-old Alice Donovan, after Folks gave them detailed directions to the site. In March, Folks gave searchers a hand-drawn map to what he said was Burns' resting place, but they found nothing. But Kaysen says things have changed since that search. It's not a hand-drawn map. It is a, uh, a computerized map that he sent uh, to the mother of uh, Samantha Burns on her birthday. And, um, and then additional information in writing as well. So, uh, you know, it's a lot more clearer that we knew we were here the last time when we were at the right place. We just didn't go far enough. She says that with debris from nearby mudslides dumped on the site, it's hard to place where a lot of the spots on the map are. But she says they feel they are getting closer. Well, I think that if in fact um, the maps are correct, which we have to believe at this point that they are, you know, we are at the right place and we just have to look very hard. We're confident we're in the right area. It's just going to be uh, very time consuming and it's going to be hard. Kaysen says the workers are volunteers from all over the country who use their time and resources to help look. She says everyone is trying to keep their emotions from getting in the way of their work. As any family of a missing person, you know, this is torment. Every, you know, scoop of dirt that we take out, every uh, more one more hour that we're here is, is you know, obviously torment for the family. But um, I think at this point they're, they're trying to stay focused that we've got to find Samantha and that's the end line goal. So they're trying not to uh, let their emotions carry over and, and none of us are. Candy Burns says the feeling of having so many trying to help makes the looking easier. Oh, it's very comforting, I guess, to know there's people out there that kind of understands what you're going through and knowing the things that needs to be done to help find her. What Monica's done, we had, would have had no clue to do this. Kaysen says they'll continue to look at the site until they find Samantha Burns or they make sure her remains are not there. For West Virginia Public Broadcasting, I'm Clark Davis in Huntington.